Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to explore the JotForm platform so that we can teach you guys how to create forms on JotForm. Okay, so obviously we're not going to start this video as we usually do. We're going to actually show you guys how to create forms from scratch. So you have multiple options when it comes to creating forms, but typically you want to start with hitting this create form button, which is on the left side of your home screen. So once you've hit this, as you can see, you're then given the option of creating a form using either a start from scratch option, a template, or to import a form. Now we're just going to make one that starts from scratch so you can see what it looks like and how you might be able to add elements into it. Later we'll go into using templates. Okay, so from here you can then choose between classic forms or card forms where in classic forms, your respondents are able to see the entire form and scroll through all the questions, but in a card form, respondents would have to answer each question before moving on to the next page so that basically it's kind of separated into these cards. So in this case we want to go through classic form just so you can see what it looks like and while we're waiting for that. Okay so whenever you're creating a form in job form they do give you the option to upload a organization logo and an organization name in this case we just kept it at up form and since we've already saved it we don't have to hit the save button anymore but typically if you haven't done this you would need to hit the save button and as you can see this is your form which you're gonna create from scratch so this is kind of what it would look like if there's nothing in it and obviously we want to add some interesting elements so head to the left side of the of the page where you can see the add form element button if you hit that plus button a menu will appear on the left side where you can start adding interesting questions you can ask questions that ask for the full name of your respondent where they would have to fill this in you can ask for their email put that under you can drag it either above or under as you can see but we want to put it under you can ask for their address oh we put it below the submit button let's just move that using as you can see there are six buttons over here if you were to hold that long for a bit and then slide it over on top of the button or section you want it to go over and then drop it it will actually move around so navigating the mobility of each section is pretty easy you just have to drag it around according to how you want it and as you can see we can add a lot of preset sort of questions or elements already to this form we can even add images what else can we add oh where you can then start uploading files we can add questions where they can start um, answering where you can ask let's say what is your favorite color they can then input whoever's answering the form at least in this case would then be able to input their answer right here in the short text answer below there are multiple types of questions you can ask it's all just a matter of being able to explore this page over here you can even add star ratings so that they can kind of like answer questions according to this interactive model so you can be like how much do you like our product and they can just choose the star options it kind of spices things up a bit it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than google forms and it gives you a lot more interactability from a forms standpoint something you might also want to take note of is that you can actually also add widgets now widgets are basically these little sections where you can then start adding youtube or whatever sort of little subsection lists which usually kind of take a more visual form than just a link so example i could have actually just like copy pasted a youtube link right here and then like please watch this video watch the video here at youtube.com but doesn't really give you that visual input directly they have to and what more they also have to enter a separate tab just to access that whereas widgets you can actually see that video right on the spot hit it you don't have to leave the page it's all right here there are also other widgets you can look over with this instagram one we have other for progress bars sms confirmation there's a whole bunch for you guys to kind of explore and play around with but just know that if comes to any widget or actually any of these sections really once you've selected the corresponding section in order to edit it you have to head for the settings button or properties in this case where you can then start changing aspects of it so there are options advanced where you can kind of change 
certain qualities of the section. In this case, when it comes to widgets, you'll have an additional widget settings where you can change the link in this case because obviously your video might be different and you can update that. And they also have the typical properties settings section as well. Now, hopefully this helps you kind of get an idea of how JotForm works when it comes to adding, moving things around, adding questions, and just basically creating a form. But now that we've gone over how to build forms from scratch and kind of like a little bit on how to add different sections to your forms, we're gonna show you guys how it would look like if you were to use a template. So let's just head back to our homepage and let's create another form. This time we're gonna use a template. As you can see, there are a bunch of pre-made templates already available for you guys to use. And depending on what you need, odds are you're probably gonna find it here. So let's say you want a course evaluation form or a restaurant reservation form, why not? Use this template. As you can see, JotForm already has a bunch of the basic features you might need in any typical reservation form. What more, they've also designed it so it's minimalist where it has the, necess the necessary aspects, but it's also still kind of plain enough where you can start changing things around, moving things around, adding color, adding a little bit of whatever makes your company unique. All the while kind of acting as a basis or skeletal structure of what a reservation form typically needs. Now this goes for all of their other templates. So if you need anything in that regard, be sure to check it out just so you guys don't have to always start from scratch it'll speed up your process a lot and that's all we really have to say about creating forms and jot forms hopefully this helps you better manage your data collection thank you so much for watching our videos be sure to like and subscribe and if you need any more help when it comes to jot form or general data collection be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below see you next time